Good morning and welcome to our social media corner. My name is Diana and I'm the social media manager of the IEA. We are live from Vienna, our headquarters, and there's a lot going on here this week. Our annual general conference started yesterday and it will go on until the end of the week. And today and tomorrow, there's also the scientific forum. This year, our scientific forum will focus on the role of nuclear science in strengthening the capabilities of countries to rapidly detect and timely respond to emerging outbreaks of zoonotic diseases. Bubonic plague, avian flu, Ebola, COVID-19, all these illnesses have something in common. They were caused by a virus transmitted from animals to people, costed many lives and caused major disruptions. Over the next two days, Experts from all, all over the world will explore the importance of nuclear science in preparing for and containing future pandemics. Follow hashtag atoms for health on social media to stay on top of all the discussions happening here and to be part of the conversation. Now, I'm very pleased to introduce you to our first guest, IA Director General, Rafael Mariano Grossi. Good morning, Director General. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for being here with us. Yes. Can you tell our followers what to expect from this year's scientific forum? Well, what we are trying to do is to uh, show in a very um, compact way um, the situation that we have around the pandemic and how uh, we can integrate the um, uh, contribution that we can have from nuclear techniques, nuclear applications, from nuclear science, properly speaking, um, to this problem. Uh, and to do this, we thought that it would be important to, to bring together, in the way this, this scientific forum has been doing over the years, to bring together different voices and different uh, actors, uh, and to explain our own uh, side uh, of, of this um, effort. Um, it's estimated that 60% of non-human infection disease come from animals. Yes. What is the role played by nuclear in fighting this? Well, as you say, when you see this, this important number, I mean, it's, it's three quarters of, of, of these cases that are caused by zoonotic diseases. The issue here can be tackled from different angles. You have the uh, the remediation once uh, somebody has been affected by it or the prevention through uh, vaccinations and so on and so forth. Uh, but we see, we recognize the existence of a structural um, health sanitary um, problem that is prevalent and that exists all over the world. And uh, through nuclear techniques, we can in a very uh, precise, very detailed, very focused way, identify at the earliest stage the emergence of uh, pathogens that could eventually turn into zoonosis that in the change could uh, um, move to an endemic and perhaps a pandemic uh, stage. So it's to be right there at the beginning of the chain, so to speak, where uh, we can uh, help the system in general uh, have a red alert and prepare as well mm -hmm. or better. Thank you. And uh, what is the IEA currently doing to help countries in their fight against COVID-19? Well, uh, what we did is um, to come together to think uh, here in-house, all our experts from different uh, areas, and we, um, we put together a, a project, an initiative, Zodiac, uh, which is trying to do exactly that, looking at the different angles where we can apply in a more efficient way nuclear techniques, uh, who to help in doing this, how to help them do this, and how to integrate this effort into wider efforts from the international community. Hence, the participation today um, at the forum of uh, WHO, OIE, uh, FAO, and other uh, uh, players in this important um, effort. Thank you, Director General. Now, our scientific forum is about to start, and I know that you have to go to the, to the opening ceremony. So thank you for this short but very insightful conversation. Thank and you. I wish you all the success in this today thank you. scientific thank forum. Thank you. I hope it will be interesting and many will be following. Exactly. Thank you so much, Director thank General. You.
Now, as, as, as I just said, our scientific forum is about to start. You can watch all the sessions live. We will share all the links in the comment section. Later today, we will have another live conversation with Dr. Tem Thomas Mettenleiter about the importance of partnerships and collaborations in the fight against pandemics. So just tune in and don't forget, keep an eye on our hashtag, Atoms for, for Health, and get involved in the discussion. We'll see you later.